Jacoby de Crasta was born June 7, 1925, to vegetarian parents in Amsterdam. Her father died when she was seven, and her younger brother was killed in an auto accident at age three. Kobe's mother supported her children as an art teacher and was a talented artist herself. When the war came and the Germans invaded Holland, it was a frightening time for the family. The Germans took over Kobe's home and the family was forced to move into a tiny apartment. Her mother hid Jewish friends in their attic, but it was not a safe place and some of them left or disappeared, probably discovered and killed or taken to concentration camps. Food was scarce, and many people starved to death, even dropping dead in the streets. But Kobe's family remained vegetarians, even if it meant eating less. 1945, Holland was liberated by the British and the Canadians, and Europe began to rebuild. Kobe went to school to become a nurse and was proud of her independence and her athleticism. Then... The stars aligned in perfect order and she met fellow vegetarian and animal lover Hans Siegenthal. And after a long courtship, he asked her to marry him. I can't marry you, Kobe protested. I want to be free and travel the world. One does not exclude the other, Hans replied. We'll travel together. So she married her best friend Hans, and that was the beginning of life's journey as two incredible soulmates who traveled the four corners of the world together. Daughter Eleanor came along in 1953, then son Hugo was born in 1955, and in 1956 they headed for America. The crossing by ship took 10 days, and then their dream of living in America became reality. They had friends living in Alabama, but Kobe and Hans had heard of the terrible treatment of black people there, so they chose to live in liberal California instead. After living a few years in Linwood, the family eventually settled in Northridge, across the street from Riker Laboratories, where Hans worked while Kobe continued on with her nursing career. Kobe loved the hot weather of California and having her very own swimming pool to swim in every day. She also had a very nice husband to enjoy it all with. Kobe and Hans's priorities were first Nora and Hugo and then furthering their passion for helping animals. Tragedy struck when Hugo, Kobe's beloved son, was killed at age 24 in an auto accident, just like her little brother so many years before. She mourned Hugo's death her entire life. By the 1980s, Kobe and Hans were deeply involved with working for several groups, including Farm, Last Chance for Animals, Suppress, and Prism. At the same time, they loved getting together with friends and having vegan potlucks at their house. Of course, travel was an important part of their agenda, and that they did to all corners of the planet for all their decades together. In 
1997, Kobe and Hans received recognition from Last Chance for Animals for their dedication to animal rights. And in 2001, Hans took part in a celebration honoring his parents. They had risked their lives as part of the underground who helped Jews escape concentration camps and certain death. His parents' names are engraved on the honor wall in the Garden of the Righteous in Jerusalem. In 2002, Kobe and Hans were honored by farm for their lifetime of work for the animals. Sadly, Kobe's beloved Hans died in 2003 after a lengthy illness. Kobe missed him terribly, but continued her activism undeterred. She also continued to travel and live life to the fullest with new friends and old. Kobe lost the last member of her immediate family in November of 2017 when her daughter Nor succumbed to cancer. In December of 2017, she and Krista Rose were given a banquet in their honor by New Life Sanctuary to recognize the achievements of these two unwavering dedicated activists. Tragically, Kobe did not live long enough to attend the memorial service for her daughter. She passed away a few weeks after Nora died still courageously looking forward to spending the rest of her life helping animals and promoting veganism. We will miss her. Hi, Kobe. It's Tatiana. I just wanted to thank you for being such a dear friend for over 30 years. You have taught me compassion. You've inspired me. You have showered me with unconditional love. Thank you. I love you, and you will always be in my heart. Kobe, I've always admired your zest for being an animal activist, and you will be truly missed. Thank you so much, Kobe, for being such a force in our movement and for your graciousness, your kindness, your generosity, your simple joy of life and people. She was always welcoming and such a great hostess. <laughs> you will carry on in our hearts forever, Kobe. Kobe Siegenthaler took me and my beautiful pit bull Valentina in when we couldn't find a place to live. Forever, Valentina and I are grateful to you, Kobe.